What's going on, everyone? Today I'm going to be showing you how to set up your live stream chat to be displayed on stream so that way people can see it if they decide to go in full screen. So to do this, we're going to be going over to Botrix and the link's going to be in the video description below so that way you guys can just log into it. And once you're logged in, you're going to go over to widgets and we're going to go over to chat. So here you're going to see that the preview is eventually going to pop up. There it is. So you got your preview there. You can use it for Trovo, Twitch, YouTube, and Kick. I just have it set up for Kick. You can hide the bot messages. You can allow it to have the better TTV or seven TV emot emoticons to be enabled. You can hide old messages. You can hide the explanation point command, and you can also have it show which platform you're on. So if you're using it for multiple ones, that way people can see like which platform people are talking from and stuff like that. And then for your pattern, you have some free ones, and then you have ones that you would have to be part of like the premium to be able to use. So for this one, we got our default. We got transparent. Just takes a little bit for it to try to load the preview for it. You got bubbles. There it goes. This is the one that I personally use. And then we got white. Cake. Side. And streamline. Now streamline, I don't like using streamline because it's literally just that. So that is not something I like. So. I'm just gonna leave it on default for this. But once you have it how you like it, then we'll go ahead and hit copy. So that way it gives us that link. We'll go into either Streamlabs or we'll go into OBS Studio because this will work on both. And we're just gonna create a browser. And then we'll paste that link in and then hit okay. So now it's going to be blank like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to my chat and I'm going to say this is a test. And now you'll see it right there. And then I also have it to where it's over here. Now, if you're wanting it to be like this, where only you see the chat like that inside of your OBS, that is a whole separate video, which I'll link in the video description below for you. One of the things that I want to mention about the uh, chat is if you're going to try to resize it, and stuff like that but you you see that it will like either get too small because like you don't want this box and stuff like that the easiest way to really adjust the size is to reopen by double clicking on the browser reopening it and messing with the width and height so for example if i change this to 400 by say 700 i'm adjusting the width and height so now i have it like that so if I have something in my overlay to where I have a dedicated spot in my overlay for my chat, I now have it to where it's gonna fit that size and I can make this a little bit smaller if I need to because I don't have an overlay in front of me so I can't really like constantly adjust it. But when I do have an overlay there and I have this needing to be in a certain spot, that is essentially how I adjust it. I just keep going in here and messing with the width and height until I have it to where I like it and then I lock it in place and it's all good to go. But yeah, that's pretty much how you would set it up. It's super simple. And if you do have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. But if you're also looking for more streaming tutorials, definitely take a look at the channel as I have a ton and I'm constantly adding more. And if you're just getting started with Kick, take a look at this playlist right here as it's going to help you out getting started. And if you ever want to hang out whenever I'm streaming, just look up Creovox on Kick, drop a follow, and you can ask me questions whenever I'm live, or we can just chill and play some games. But thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll see you all next time.